Welcome to our tutorial about the Select tool. At this point, you can go to the Exercises folder and open up Lesson Number 4. Right now, I'm going to pan the entities in my graphic area. However, I don't have the Pan tool in my Hangup menu. That's this little bar of tools right at the top of the graphic area. Let's launch the Customize dialog window, and we'll go to the Commands tab. Click on the View branch. Here's the pan command. Let's grab and drag the icon and just drop it right on the hang up toolbar. And click OK. Another way to access this tool is via view on the main menu strip. Modify and pan. Or you can simply right click on empty space and select pan. I'm going to right click on Sketch 1 in the Design Tree and select Edit Sketch. Now let's click an empty space to deselect everything. If I select an entity with a left click, I can press Delete on the keyboard and the entity is deleted. And undo. Once again, click in the graphic area to deselect everything. To select multiple entities, press down the Control or Shift keys while you select. Click in the graphic area to deselect your entities. Another selection method is the window select. You press down and hold the left mouse button and drag. Keep the left mouse button held down until you're done your selection. Now when you drag from left to right as I've done, only entities fully within your selection window get selected. Let's release the left mouse button. And as you see, the selection window picked up only those entities that were fully inside that window, nothing more. Let's click an empty space to deselect. Now once again, let's left click and hold down that left mouse button. This time, I'm going to drag from right to left. Notice that this time the window is green and the border is a dashed line. When I drag from left to right, the window is blue and it's got a solid line around the outside. As you can imagine, dragging from right to left does something different. When you drag right to left, you select entities that are even only partially within the selection window. Let's release the mouse button, and as you see, I picked up many more entities on that selection. This concludes our lesson about the Select tool.